Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, finally doing another video. Uh, some of you know that I moved from Texas where I was uh, up here to Michigan. Um, move went well, as well as can be expected. It was a move, so it sucked. But got up here and I don't have a space to actually put up all my video games. I don't have a man shed uh, like I did down there, so trying to find a space to put all the video games up. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, it's been kind of a madhouse up here, to say the least. But I did uh, fall back playing World of Warcraft. Uh, it was uh, basically during the thin times when I was moving and when all my consoles were packed up. It was basically a cheap way to hang out with a bunch of my friends who are now states away. Most of the United States away. Ember, of course, uh, piping in there that she enjoys there actually being an entire set of stairs in this house as opposed to the three stairs that we had down in Texas. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to show you today is uh, one of the things that uh, I really liked about the, the new expansion for World of Warcraft called Warlords of Draenor. Uh, it introduced a thing called Garrisons. And there are a few things that I just kind of want to show. Um, she wants to be in the shot, so this is Ember. If I say hi, Ember was not allowed out in the man cave before, so unless I can uh, feed her tranquilizer, you will hear her during most of my videos at this point. Um, so let's uh, get to the footage, and I'll show you a little bit of how that worked. All right, gang, here we are on my paladin on Moonguard named Jack Alaire. Uh, this is the level two in, so here's what it looks like. We've got some quest givers. I've got the quests from these two guys. And there is, uh, of course, the person in here that you talk to to recruit new followers. I've also got Millhouse Mana Storm and a bunch of my followers just hanging out. Upstairs, we've got two rooms. Uh, generally, people are hanging out in them. There we've got my uh, dude that helps missions go quicker. And there's Millhouse hanging out. Um, it's uh, I love the detail in that it's kind of shabby beds and that there's food all over the place. Of course, got a ghost. Won't spoil who that is, but he's hanging out. We've got the table going on here. Down the stairs, we've got our little kitchen area. Now I'm kind of frustrated because that fire is not a cooking fire, which I feel is a gross oversight. But, yeah, que sera. Uh, and down here we've got the basement, which looks really weird. I'm hoping that eventually that they do something with this so that I can have it. But it is fun. Uh, I play on an RP server, so it is kind of fun to be able to uh, have a little role play. So let's go back to my town hall. This is where everything is done. This is the architect table, which is where you go and build things. I've got a level three town hall, which allows me to have all these plots going on. We're gonna take the inn and we're gonna upgrade it. As you can see, it costs 60, 600 garrison resources and 500 gold. And now we'll come back in an hour. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab the quest line. This is Scout Valdez. He's the one that usually uh, hangs one. out right here by the, the war planning map. And it also gives you two options of places where you can go. And you can see the Warsong Raiders, and then there are the Black Rock Forces. Now, it lets you know that the Black Rock Forces, you want to bring friends. And they are not kidding. So we're going to go ahead and head to the Mokgal war post so we're going to get 808 crystals instead of a thousand and depending on who you attack uh, the more people that you attack you get you can get invasions from them so for instance I've had uh, ogres invade I've had the the iron horde invade and I've had people from shadow moon valley invade each one of them are different and they have their own challenges such as ogres just have a crap load of hit points uh, we're going to swing by my barracks here 
And we're going to grab Delvar. He is a, a dwarf death knight that has the voice of a human death knight, which is weird. But you can see that little bar up top. That's how uh, loyal he is. So he starts out just a, a bodyguard, and he turns eventually turns into a wingman, which is really cool. So he disappears there, and now we're going to go ahead and fly out. All right, so here we are in the Grand. We can see that we've got Assault on Mokgal watch post, and we're going to go over there and do that. All right, so now I'll start fighting guys, and as you'll see, there's this little bar under objectives. Now, as I kill guys, we are going to get 1% which is not a whole lot. So see, I killed one, we're at 1%, I killed another one, and now we're at two. Another way to progress it forward is to find these chests, and they give 2% instead of just killing mobs gives one. There are also elites that you can fight, and they show up in each zone that you get sent to. Uh, some of them are summoned, and some of them just spawn randomly. I occasionally found one of these Warsong totems, and they took it from, instead of 2% like the chests, they were 3%. You can see my quest is now ready for turn in, so we're going to head back to the garrison. All right, let's go talk to Scout Valdez. We will turn this in, get our 800 Apexis crystals, and then move on and see, because by now, the inn should be ready. All right, with the inn being ready, let's click on this. And lo and behold, there is the, the level three Lunar Fall Inn. Now, walking in, it looks... Uh, remarkably the same uh, still the quest givers the only main difference that I noticed is up here there are now three bedrooms instead of two uh, Delvar keeps hogging the shot let's go ahead and send him back to the barracks tomorrow is another day The cooking place, the kitchen, looks uh, remarkably similar, if not the exact same. I haven't compared the videos. Uh, and the basement is uh, still the basement. Once again, no change there. Uh, the outside looks a little better, and the top floor uh, adds another room. The only other thing is that you now get new missions for your followers. All right, gang, so there is a brief look at both garrisons and at uh, the garrison missions as well as an upgrade of the from the level 2 to level 3 in. Now some of the buildings had drastic upgrades and unfortunately I'm past the point of recording. Um, the, the barracks has the largest upgrade but I don't have a level 2 and a level 3 barracks to show that. Uh, I do have uh, a level 1 garrison, 2 garrison, and 3 garrison, and I'll do a video of that later. I've also got, as soon as I find a place to hook up, hook it up, one of my friends was, uh, parents was moving, and uh, it, her brother had an old Amiga and decided to get rid of it, so I inherited uh, an Amiga with about four or five milk crates full of games. So we'll be taking a look at those uh, in the near future once I find a spot to set it up. So, all right, well, thank you very much for joining me. Sorry about the long absence, and as always, play on.